Right now, it is two minutes after the hour, and these cold temperatures are threatening the crops of local farmers. Action News Now reporter Jafet Serrato is live in Chico. Jafet, you talked with a farmer. What's he doing to save his livelihood? Good morning, Kelly. He's using his irrigation system. He's hoping that will be enough to save his crop. And Kelly, it is so cold that I can't even feel my toes this morning. And with good reason, take a look at the current temperature here on my phone. It is 32 degrees here in Chico. These kind of temperatures are enough to scare a lot of farmers in Northern California this morning. In the last few days, you may have driven past several blossoming almond orchards like these. They may be beautiful, but since they bloomed early, they're more susceptible to frost right now. They're already protecting for worst case scenarios. Almond farmer Andrew Mendoka says that worst case scenario is losing his crop to the cold. And my family's been doing this for 102 years now. From now all the way up into May, I mean at any time it'll get cold, those nuts are susceptible. Mendonca says his number one tool to prevent his crop from freezing are his sprinklers. He explained to me how that works. Oh, so it all depends on the on the dew point. Mendonca says depending on what the dew point is overnight, the earlier you have to turn on your sprinklers. If it's 15 degrees, that means to maintain a temperature inside our orchard at 31 degrees, we have to turn the water on at 39 degrees. So that means that when the temperature is 39 degrees here, mm -hmm. we have to turn the water on. He says the water warms the soil, causing it to radiate heat on the canopy of the orchard. I asked Mendoka how him losing a crop would impact what we see at the grocery store. The price will go up, but I don't really know that we see that here in the grocery store. What is certain is that it's going to be a long season for Mendoka watching out for his crops. Mendonca says the last time he lost some of his almond crop by the cold was back in 2018. And hopefully he doesn't lose any this year or for any other farmers in Northern California. Live in Chico, Jafet Serrato, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thanks, Jafet. And that farmer also said he and nine other people are taking turns turning on the sprinklers. Two of them are split up for three nights at their crops in Butte and Glen counties. You